Hey everybody, my name is Welland, and we are checking out Close to the Sun today, a first-person, story-driven horror game. Oh my god. Some of you might already know that horror is not really a genre I do too well with, so I'm just gonna commit to a first look today. I wanted to check this out though, because I saw the trailers and promotional stuff, and I thought it looked kind of interesting. This is a 19th century alternate history story about a ship, Helios built by Nikola Tesla, and I guess something goes horribly wrong because this is a horror game. <laughs> One point that gets brought up by a lot of people when you look at the promotional images and even this main menu here is that it looks a lot like Bioshock. I don't feel like everybody is saying this as an insult, but nonetheless, the devs are like, no, it's not Bioshock. So I guess we will find out for ourselves. Nikola Tesla, richest man alive. Prologue, the brilliance of Ada. My dear sister, I left you suddenly and without warning. For that and so much more to come, I apologize. I didn't board the Helios knowing what would happen, only that pursuing my research could change the world. And we did, just not in the way I'd imagined. Not yet anyway. I want to explain everything now, so that you'd see that there is nothing to fear. You've always tried to protect me, my big sister, but this was meant to be. It's now my turn to protect you, if only so that things unfold the way they are meant to. Time and necessity has kept us apart, but that is about to change. We need you here aboard the Helios with me. I've enclosed a receiver, and as the name implies, it can receive signals through which we will communicate. I know little of this will make any sense right now, but I also know that you will keep your promise. I love you. Your sister, Ada. Pretty light on details there, Ada. You leave without warning and now need me aboard the Helios? What aren't you telling me? The Helios is a research ship? Oh, where am I now? On a boat. Welcome aboard. Please, wear the official Helios. Oh, I'm already here. Outfit provided by the Warden Cliff. Warden Cliff? Please leave your luggages and personal belongings in the shuttle. Everything will be automatically transferred into your personal room once assigned. Oh, so maybe this is like the boat to get to Helios, but we're not actually there yet. That's me. I'm Rose Archer. My sister is Ada. The Helios! The eighth wonder of the world. A triumph of engineering for the advancement of science. Join the Helios crew. Apply at your local Wardenclyffe office. Okay, right off the bat, I kind of feel like these controls were made for controllers, not the mouse. It's a little bit floaty feeling. But I'll manage. Field of view is a little bit low too, but I don't think we can change it. Hope the docking works better than these automated announcements. Observation shuttle? Is this a hand sanitizer? No. <laughs> this isn't the observation deck, is it? Helios! The Helios Grand Theater, the best entertainment to stimulate the best minds. Wait. <laughs> I feel like we walked in a loop. 
but it somehow isn't a loop. How did that work? How do I know where the observation deck is? Or the observation cabin? It should be inside. Hello? Where is everybody? Oh, it's gotta be this. Press button to commence docking procedure. Sea waves conquered by radio waves. The Warden Cliff automatic shuttle fleet. Autonomous and autopiloted. Mmm, so there's no one else here because it's all robotics based. This must be a really advanced 19th century. Close to the sun. Too close to the sun? That would be a little bit different. Chapter 1. The Border of Hermes. board the Helios and establish communication with Ada. Well, this isn't quite the warm welcome I was expecting. Oh my god. I thought the great Helios would be more... busy? I guess Ada didn't tell anyone I was coming. Get the impression that she's in a bit of a trouble. At least the Warden Cliff's office is right there. What is that? What? Oh my god. Can I crouch? If I can, I can't figure out the key. <laughs> oh, that's a... that's a wheel. The Helios. A scientific endeavor that cruises in luxury while the rest of the world is left to fend for itself. So it's like a portable research lab. You are now walking within the largest ship ever built. Not sure I quite liked hearing that noise earlier. I hate to be drawing the Bioshock comparisons, but it kind of sounded like a big daddy. <laughs> Seems like I'll have to let myself in. The ship rat. Active spy. Isolate and eliminate. 
What? Eliminate? Oh, I can read it like that. I don't actually get the layout of this place right now. Are we inside the Helios already? This might be the welcome lounge. Very welcoming. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. Wasn't quite expecting that to happen. Is that the map of the Earth? Uh, it's kind of spinning, so I can't see very well, but I wonder if it lines up with the current day map. The dots might be... where they go? Because the ship is moving, right? Or maybe it's where their people are from? There are some pipes here that don't really do anything. Ada? Maybe she only talks to me once I get inside. Warden Cliff, a company distributing electricity to half of the world and yet still hungers for that other half. You are here. Oh, we're in the very beginning, in the bottom section of the ship? It's huge. Whoa. Quarantine? What have you got yourself into, Ada? Great! Oh dear. Oh dear. These automatic robot systems turning on us? God, that looks like an eyeball. Ada? If you can't see anything, don't worry, neither can I. Nicholas's passport, Nicholas Ford. An American, an actor, staying here for 21 days? My purpose of visit, actor. Oh, maybe as part of that theater thing we read about? People leaving their passports in the lounge though, that seems kind of unusual. Quarantine. We can't go there, right? I want to get inside there, but I don't think we... Oh. Uh, what about this side? What the hell? Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Warden Cliff for a brighter future. Now I can't get inside. There's a door here, but it's not openable. Build the future. Okay, that's lovely. Oh. Even lovelier. Oh, there's a glass here. <laughs> I was thinking, could we like, jump inside? If we had a hammer or something, maybe. Disable the two security overrides to reactivate the elevator. What the heck? Oh, it might be the red paint for the quarantine?
Whoa. Okay, that hand freaked me out. <laughs> we can't get in there. Hello? Any anyone there? I want to go home. <laughs> I want to go home. I can't reach that. Gentlemen. The washroom? Out of order. Use a lady's room. Keep it clean. Wait. This is for guys, though. Is it single stall? Oh. Okay. Oh. Storage room? Join him. Join me. You too can change the world. Join Mr. Tesla aboard the Helios today. So that's Tesla. The devil? The... Harnesk? Private office. I did notice there is a way to get inside there, but I'm wondering where I should be going. Okay, well... I guess this is the only way. with my sister. That wasn't a recording, right? He was speaking directly to me? Edison spies. They're like rivals here. Guard our secrets and we'll guard you. And earlier, we got that paper that was talking about how this guy might have been a spy. And they eliminate spies? Doesn't sound very good for me. Um, I can't seem to interact with this. Oh, I'm not close enough. But I don't have the password. Oh! Oh. Okay, I, I guess I did. Oh, I got lucky. Ananya Patel from India, a lab technician. Staying here indefinitely. Another passport. Armless. Suspected sleeper agent. Find confirming or eliminating evidence that he's a spy. Armless. Okay, one more to go. <laughs> that was a bit of a fluke. I accidentally guessed the password right. <laughs> or maybe that's the password for all of them? Facing up? Who really knows? Confirmed oh! Edison agents? Seems like their rivalry is alive and well. What the heck is wrong with Canada? This is 1895, I think? There's only British Columbia, Northwest Territory, and Rupert's Land? Actually, only that little bit is considered Canada. <laughs> What's the rest of this then? Oh. Huh. That's what the dots were on the map, confirmed Edison agents. False flag operations in progress. Agent infiltration success, awaiting first report. Incident report, KA-812. In accordance to procedure protocol A-12, officers greeted the shuttle from Sydney upon arrival. When the guests did not appear as instructed, the officers embarked the shuttle to perform a standard search. The guest was not found aboard, and neither was any of the issued Wardenclyffe paperwork or issued clothing. 
Further inspection of the vessel revealed a noticeable but harmless indentation on the starboard side of the shuttle. There was no record of this dent when the vessel left Sydney, so it is possible that the shuttle was boarded by another ship while en route to the Helios. This is the 11th incident of a similar nature this year alone. The vulnerable nature of our automatic shuttles has to be corrected. The ID documentation and Wardenclyffe uniforms that are regularly lost could provide Edison with enough information to create convincing forgeries. I have yet to receive any reassurance that measures are being taken to prevent these incidents from reoccurring. So people are disappearing in the uniforms? Huh. He seems kind of paranoid about the whole spy thing. My god. British Navy in pursuit of the Helios! Alleged kidnapping of prominent British mathematician has the world on edge. Kidnapping! Is that my sister? I don't know. Hand him over, says the Prime Minister. Wardenclyffe denies wrongdoing, claims that Maxwell joined voluntarily. And not my sister then. International group of diplomats rallied to calm rising tensions. Interrogation subject, Andrei Lachen Lachenko, bishop group, functioned as messenger to sleeper agent aboard the Helios, further interrogation required, still refuses to give up name of target agent. I don't feel like they're doing any research here at all. It's all about the spy stuff. Spy connections involve people, Tom, Kate, John. Why is John spelled like that? <laughs> All the documents are available privately. Hey, this person has really nice handwriting. I really like it. <laughs> Jung Hwan Choi, a Korean lab researcher. How many people are aboard here? We don't really know. Agent missing? Yeah, well, the gist of it is that there's some spy stuff going on here. I'll open that. But, uh... M. Hots. Loose lips could sink our ship. Our carelessness is Edison's secret weapon. The culture here seems very... fear-mongery. Okay. Well, since we got a security override thing here, probably there's not gonna be much- Ah, fuck! <sighs> probably there's not gonna be much else here. By the way, I can jump. Oh, <laughs> check out this jump. Ugh, it's not the best kind of jump. <laughs> it's pretty weird, but we got it. We can jump. Okay. Yeah, we got one. Now we need the other one. How lovely and inviting. Hey, aren't I doing pretty well? I'm getting scared, but I feel like I'm recovering pretty quickly. I'm surprising even myself a little bit. Oh god! Oh my god. <laughs> Cut it out! Oh, same thing. This is like a researcher's desk. Vapor, incoming threat. Known as Matthias Ellis, Simon Alder, Ernest Hemson. What in the world are they doing? I don't see any research at all. It's just all talk about spies, spies, spies. 
that should do it. Now to find Ada. Take the elevator. Yes. Oh, that's not open though. Let me just have a look around here. Oops. The Interrogation Internal Communications Division. The interrogation of researcher Becker had an immediate effect on the amount of cross-department chatter that contained sensitive information. Unfortunately, it also made the suspected Edison leak go silent. We are therefore no further along in our investigation over exactly what material has been compromised. I am hereby requesting that a more hands-on approach be taken in order to assure the continued security of the Helios. We cannot afford another grand-scale sabotage. Once is enough. I am aware of how uncomfortable Mr. T is with these less sophisticated measures, but doing it the old-fashioned way is sometimes the only option. I don't know how long it's been this way, but very clearly, as we've mentioned many times already, it's all about the spy stuff. There's no actual work going on anymore. Edison denies espionage allegations. Accusations are mere circumstantial, claims Edison. Preparations for a countersuit is on its way. Wardenclyffe declines to comment. Does that mean that Wardenclyffe is Tesla's company name then? Because they mentioned that Wardenclyffe powers half the world, so it's electricity-based. Tesla absent as preliminary hearings commence into accusations of Edison espionage. The ship is Helios? The company is Wardenclyffe? And the man is Tesla. French climatologist Jean Villepreux <laughs> seen boarding shuttle vessel to the Helios. Yet another high profile scientist joins the ever growing Helios crew. Sabotage attempt averted as Helios shuttle avoids ramming. Okay. Maybe up here? Yeah, we can't go out this way. What you see here, what you do here, when you leave here, let it stay here. How are you attracting any great minds with an attitude like that? Seriously, I wonder, because this seems really oppressive. These posters were here before the whole spy stuff started, I assume, so it's been like this the whole time? Okay. <laughs> Wait, there's nothing here. Loose pages of a newspaper, Tesla's death ray to make war impossible. Nikola Tesla proposes to compel the world towards peace with a threat of immeasurable damage. His newly announced weaponry is about to go up for auction. It has nations all over the world scrambling for funds. Tesla's ship, mounted weaponry, could annihilate an entire fleet. Oh, they're building weapons here. Not just any kind of technology. Pneumatic... Messages. Oh, the tubes? Oh! Wait, Bishop! We saw that name earlier. David Bishop from London. A kid. Here for seven days? Maybe like a researcher's son or something? One of the blackboards earlier in the other room mentioned a bishop. Okay. Authorized personnel only. Obviously me. You know, for a company that powers half the world, the lighting is really bad in here. Sylvia Bishop. Seven days. The kid's mom? Purpose of visit, art exhibition. Ugh. What the hell? Ew.
jackpot. Infosec just sent a tube that corroborates the dates and places. He's an Edison spy, all right. Your gut instincts were right again. It's important that we make this one count. We need to tap him on all that he knows, whether he wants to sing or not. This is definitively a West-West situation. Feel free to get creative. We're torturing people here. <laughs> There's a lot of newspapers. Nikola Tesla recruits British intelligence officer to oversee information security aboard Helios. Huh. Another high-profile person joining? God, there's blood and everything. What the heck is that? Hmm, this is creepy. Ooh. No. Well, we don't know the password for this one. Although, there's only two things, so you can brute force it? Am I supposed to? Because I haven't actually seen any passcodes up until now. Even for the other door. Oh. So this is how suspected Edison spies get interrogated aboard the Helios? Ugh. Wait until my editor hears about this. Don't be foolish. Sterilize your tools. <laughs> That's the only research-related poster I've seen so far. Okay, well, to the elevator we go. I'm just waiting for it. Probably some electricity thing. A cable. It's gonna catch on fire and then we're gonna get surprised again. The elevator was... Yes, it was here. Alrighty. Hmm? A key card. For the elevator. How convenient! Ah! Whoa! Jesus! What the hell? Hey! <laughs> hey! Shit! Okay! Chapter 2, The Fire of Prometheus. There's a lot of, like, Greek mythology symbolism, it seems. Oh, wow. Hey! There's the lighting. Great. We are kind of on the top floor now. Oh, we're on the Teslatorium. <laughs> Teslatorium? Really? Can I stand on that? Probably not a good idea. This is lead researcher Archer calling any survivors in this frequency. Is anyone out there? What the? I repeat, this is lead researcher Archer calling for any survivors on this frequency. Is anyone? Ada. Rose? Ada! Holy shit, Rose! Ada! What the hell are you doing here? Wait, what? Ada? You told me to come. I've got your letter right here. That... that doesn't make any sense. I didn't write you any letter, Rose. But, but never mind. There's been an accident. Or sabotage. It, it doesn't matter. We need to get off this ship. That's what the quarantine is about? Ada, what the hell is going on? Rose, listen very carefully. We really need to leave. It's spreading all... It, Ada! Ada! Maybe I can get a better signal. What's spreading? Somewhere up ahead. A disease? Or... A murderer? Or what? We had a bell at the reception desk earlier. But she was talking, so I didn't want to press it. The Helios. Dude, how narcissistic do you have to be to have a model of the ship on the ship itself? Sun 
itself a source of almost unlimited power. This is a safe space for those with an open mind and a talent for the scientific arts to expand the limits of human endeavor. Away from prying eyes and cynical money men, here all that matters is progress as we reach for the very stars themselves. It is our floating home and the cradle of mankind's technological evolution. You walk within the very future of the human race, and you are most, most welcome. This is a research ship, but judging by some of the passports we've seen so far, you can also come here for fun. You can come here for the theater, you can come for an art exhibition. Oh, the patents. Hmm. The date is... 1914. Peaceful and neutral, unbound, unattached, uncommitted. To the nation's states of the world, the Helios sails under its own banner. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the Helios. This guy's just putting up projections of himself. Because he loves himself. Patents. Alright. It's kind of cool, I suppose. Are these all like famous researchers? Every single one of them? What sort of nut job builds a museum to themselves in their own house? Exactly! Exactly. I can't stand on that, right? There's glass here? <laughs> God damn. Can't see what you're reading. Death Ray. This is the machine with which I intend to rid the world of war once and for all. My dear Death Ray. It may seem contradictory that such a thing could promote peace, but possessed with this None would even consider military action against us. That's the theory, at least. A little bit paradoxical, isn't it? But it does make sense. Automatic ships. Radio waves aren't just great for transmitting sound images and energy across large distances, but with this radio-controlled boat, they can also be used to transport people. If you're here on the Helios, then you've already enjoyed a voyage on one of these. They are unmanned vessels, controlled automatically via radio signals. Less risky in case of malfunction and subsequent drowning. Not that there was ever much risk. That is to say, you're safely here, aren't you? So, all's well. So the technology is a little bit different. You would assume that this would be driven by a computer, but no, it's driven by radio waves. Lord, this guy loves himself. Oh my god. It's too murky. Warden Cliff announces success resonance with other dimension. Only Tesla knows how it works. Dawn of free energy. Is Tesla violating the law of conservation of energy? Free energy threatens thousands of energy jobs. Riots expected. What? Hmm. That would be kind of a shame if it's true. You find this nice resource that everybody can enjoy, but then that puts people out of a job, so you don't want to do it because of that. Tesla Tower. My first Tesla Tower at Warden Cliff was a huge success. I always knew that my dream of free energy transmitted wirelessly across the globe would be a resounding success. What I did not foresee was the hunger of the human race, its gluttony for more, more, and more electricity. Wireless transmission of power, and that's the easy part. Finding that power in the first place, now there's the tricky bit. Hey, an X-ray machine. When I 
discovered the X-ray, we would have wonderful times in the lab shooting each other with the team. What? Blackened silhouettes on the walls capturing a single moment of playtime for all eternity. That is, of course, until we realize that X-rays are quite, quite harmful. This machine makes the whole process much safer, though far less fun. Oh, so I guess this is not the one that we see in modern day. Hmm. Huh. I wonder how long it took people to figure out that x-rays were bad. Probably when people started dying. <laughs> Tesla Tower paper article. Amazing scheme of the great inventor to draw millions of volts of electricity through the air from Niagara Falls and then feed it out into the cities, factories and private houses from the tops of the towers without wires. Wireless energy transmission. Earthquake! Machine brings down city block. Seven killed and many injured as buildings come falling down. Oh, that's an experiment here. Promises of compensation. How do you compensate for human life? Tesla coil. That we know. Neon light. Creepy ship full of scientists in the middle of the ocean. What could possibly go wrong? Another statue with birds? What the? Whoa. Anyone? This must be what it's like back in its heyday. But the question is, why can we see this? Oh, you're scary. Oh! What the hell was that? Ghosts? Yeah, I can hear you, but what the hell am I doing here? If you didn't write the letter, who did? It's in your handwriting and everything. This is gonna sound weird, but it might have been me. Not present me, but future me. I know how crazy that sounds, but I promise I can explain everything. Let's rendezvous in my apartment. From there, we'll escape together, okay? Escape from what, exactly? It's not safe here, Rose. It's spreading throughout the ship. I'll tell you everything when we meet up in my apartment. You need to grab a Faraday keycard from the check-in desk there in the main hall. They're kept in a wall-mounted safe. The combination should be written down somewhere nearby. The keycard will automatically take the elevator to the right district. Did you get all that? Yeah. Open safe. Get keycard. Use elevator. Meet in your apartment. I, I got it. Great. I won't be able to reach you on the radio for a bit, so just get there and stay safe, okay? Fine. But when you get there, I'm expecting some answers. Deal? Deal. Oh, and sis? Even if I can't explain why or how you got here, really am grateful that you're here. See you soon. See you soon, sis. Kinda of wondering how birds even got in here. In the middle of a ship? In the ocean? Prometheus! What? That's the mask that people were wearing, but it's so scary. Is the wall safe? Maybe it's not here. Where was this supposed to be again? By the reception desk, right? She said. And the combination should be... There it is. Combination should be nearby, but not on this newspaper, probably. We've seen this one. First of all, how do we even get around? Wow, that's blood. Is that also paint? I don't know. That 
must be the safe. Now to get it open. Oh, this looks complicated as hell. Mm, each little circle. You can control it individually. Eric! Remember to write down the new safe code when you change it. Margaret had to come off all the way from Tech Labs just to reset the safe mechanism last week. She wasn't pleased. Don't mess up again. One, four, two. A little bit disappointed. It's not four, five, one. Um, how do we... Like, one, four, two here? I guess so. Two. Four. One. Whoa, take all of it. Bingo. A key card for the elevator. Freaking take all of it, man. You don't know what you're gonna need later on. These people here aren't gonna be needing it anyway. Oh my god. Okay, I feel like something bad's gonna happen very soon. <laughs> Her gasping scared me more than the birds. Alright. Hope this works. <laughs> when in danger, run! <laughs> um, thanks for the tip. The home of Hestia. Hmm, I guess we'll do one more chapter. I want to see my sister. If that's okay. Enter the apartment complex. Ugh, what is that smell? Wood flooring. This place is so big, people have their own apartments. As is tradition aboard the Helios, we will hold the annual hall to welcome our new arrivals. The Masquerade Ball. We are now at the apartments. And the lights are gone again. It's getting all dark. Huh. That fire. Oh god, I thought those were worms for a second. Faraday District. Is that another one? Locked. They never work. Great. Newly opened Wardenclyffe Operation in South America. Reignites tensions. Edison threatens legal action. Uh oh. I thought this was gonna be more about technology, but there's something supernatural going on here too. Uh, dude, weren't you gonna open the gate for me? No? I just gotta find my way through? Rose, did you reach my apartment district yet? Yeah. But this door... <laughs> won't... open. Easy there, champ. Try putting your considerable weight behind it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God! What? Rose? Oh, my God! What's going on? They're in pieces, Ada! Shit! Get me out! How do I get out? Rose? Rose! It's gonna be okay. Rose, listen to me. You're having a panic attack. Just focus on my voice, Rose. Close your eyes and just focus on my voice. Breathe with me. One leaf in. 
One thorn out. One leaf in. One thorn out. One leaf in. One thorn out. There you go. Good. Good. They've been butchered, Ada. Who or what did this? We don't... we don't know yet. But right now we need to get you safe. Make your way to the center of the apartment complex. There's a generator that will open the gates. Focus on that for now. I'm on my way. I'll broadcast you again shortly. Be careful, sis. I'll try. I'm not gonna ever see my sister, am I? Time is not a river. Dude. It's like that person's head has been bashed in. And we saw the thing earlier, right? Something was running across. Okay. You know what? It's no time to dawdle. We gotta get out of here. No. This is the way we came through. Get to the center of the complex to re-enable lights. Time is not a river. Oh god! Jesus. There's mosquitoes too, so it's been a while. I kind of like how they made it so that Rose had a reaction to the corpses. Because a lot of times in horror games, the character doesn't really react because they expect that the player will. But here, Rose was scared to the point that she couldn't move or even look at it. It almost feels a little bit comforting. Like, hey, I'm not the only one scared here. Service? Damn lights, where are the lights? Midnight, lights out. No debates past midnight. Arguing over the limitations of the four-year transformations can wait. No need to bother the rest of the district. Keep your lively debates and discussions to their designated halls and hours. Wow. Yeah, we're not going in there. Mm. No, no, Ada Archer listed here. There's a key thingy though, so maybe eventually. Oh, yes, we gotta find Ada Archer. Are these visions from the past? The one electron theory reaches four sigma certainty. This is the disaster, claims multiple universities. Visions from the past showing up here? Oh my god. If it's from the past, that must be it. Let's see about getting some lights on in here. What do you mean by past, though? Do you mean because a person's died? Or did it just happen a while ago? Okay, make sure that the active line light is green. If needed, use a line control button to cycle between power lines. We need to use emergency power. Enter 11213. How do I know which one's one and which one's two? Like, in order? Mm. There we go. 
flip the main switch. Okay, get ready. Get ready. Yes. Okay. Now to find where Ada's apartment is. Do we get down? Yes, the gate's opened. Ada! Ugh, about damn time. What took you? <coughs> what? Hello? Who is this? If you've harmed my sister, I swear to God I will break oh, every hey, bone. Hey, hey. I haven't harmed anyone, alright? My name's Aubrey, and it's really, really nice to finally talk to someone who is decomposing, you know? Uh... Never mind, sorry. But you have got to get me out of here. I'm holed up in the engine hall's starboard side, deck 82. Kind of trapped, actually. How soon can you get here? Never. I can't make any promises. I'm going to get my sister off this thing, but if we can, we will come to get you too. How does that sound? Oh yeah, of course. Don't mind me. I'll just sit here and starve. No problem. That sounds great. You know, Benny here in the corner died during the exotic energy leak, but he still has most of his spine intact. Maybe he can lend it to you so that the next time a person in need asks for help, you will have enough of a backbone to actually do something. Ah. What the hell was all that about? Exotic energy? What the heck? Oh, that's a bird! I thought it was a person's head. How dumb do you have to be to insult a person who can rescue you, though? My goodness. Yeah, we're not gonna go get him. <laughs> From Maxwell District to Faraday District. Is anyone still in Faraday? We need help. We're trapped in Maxwell with a severe exo leak. We've tried to close it off, but it just keeps spreading. Exo? Exotic energy? Some are hallucinating shapes in the exo clouds, and it's just putting everyone on edge. We haven't heard from sec Dep, so quarantine protocol is still active. But people are considering making a break for the rail tunnels. Send someone, anyone. I'm sorry, people. I'm here for my sister. If I meet you along the way, fine, but don't expect it. No Ada Archer here. No. God, where is my freaking sister? Please don't tell me it's here. I'm not going through that anytime soon. Whew, she's not here. Zeta. Where is she? Lord have mercy on me. There's only so much of this I can take. Hey, there's a gym. <laughs> uh, it doesn't seem like there's any more apartments here, though. So maybe we're not going in the right place here. If I forget my objective, is there a way to see it again? I don't know. Maybe not. Even in the apartment complex, there's a statue here. The science! Chess. Ada used to be great at it. Huh. Apartment key. If we come across that guy, sure. If we don't, also fine. I just want to find my sister, goddammit! It's not my business. Some leaking electricity. Whoa. What happens if I go near it? Nothing. Somebody left their belongings in the suite. 
This is kind of like a um, hotel, more than an apartment, right? I just want to. Where is my sister? Oh, my one comfort in life. This ain't it. This ain't it. Three three two one two. Three three two one two. Oh. Hey, there's a red paint. Three three two one two. If I find a safe, I'll enter that code. But for now, I got no clue. Yeah, I'm. I'm hoping that when I go up to the little card reader thing. Because I picked up a card, right? It should automatically show me that I can enter it. That I can use it. If it's the right apartment. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Oh my god! How many people are here? Sorry, lady. That was a bit of a drop. Rail station. Oh, jeez. You know the, um, the person that we saw run across the railing earlier? Oh god, this is so unsanitary. We're just touching this. That person hasn't come up again. Was that one of the victims or what? Aaron Prosper with wife Mary and sons Humphrey and Benjamin. Hey dad, this is the photo we took before you went aboard. We're looking forward to new stories on your return. Mom says hello. That's it. Hmm. Can I just... <laughs> Sorry. I thought it would be a little bit quicker. But the whole animation makes it slower. Sister, please. This ain't it. This ain't it. It's not fair! We in the biology department come back with clothes either covered in blood or dirt, while the worst the physics department ever gets is some light chalk stains from writing equations all day. We need at least two laundry days to get blood stains out. Fix this. There's a lot of different departments here. How many people here in total? Oh. Come on. I can feel it. We're getting close, right? Oh. Archer Ada. Yes! Aha! Alpha quarter. Yeah. Now I just need to find a way inside. <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me. I was hoping we could see our sister before we ended off today. But um, getting the feeling that even in getting the key, we're still not gonna get to see her. She's like a mythical unicorn. And we're running a little long already, so I guess I'll just end it off here. Mm, so far, this feels pretty okay. Although, I am playing this like a week after it came out already. So the reviews are out, and I did notice that they weren't too great. Might be because we haven't really made it too far in yet. I feel like there's way too many newspapers right now, and not enough of like other types of items to read. Especially if you consider how a newspaper only changes once a day, but there's already like 20 different ones here. Other than that, I enjoyed my time with this. A little bit scary, but not too scary. So thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing this, and I will see you next time. Bye!